What if the government's role in housing is actually hindering the market rather than helping it? It's a provocative question and one that we'll explore today. Let's start with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's comprehensive housing plan. It sounds promising, doesn't it? A government committed to addressing housing issues head on, but sometimes good intentions don't always translate into effective action. In fact, there's a growing argument that this plan might be doing more harm than good. It might be counterproductive, inadvertently stifling the very market it's trying to support. It's a complex issue and we need to unpack it with a clear-eyed view. We need to understand the implications of this plan, its possible pitfalls, and how it might be reshaping the housing landscape in ways that were never intended. So buckle up, we're going on a deep dive into the intricacies of Trudeau's housing plan. Now let's dive deep into the specifics of Trudeau's housing plan. At the heart of Trudeau's plan is an increase in the capital gains inclusion rate. Now, capital gains tax, in a nutshell, is the tax you pay on the profit from selling something that's increased in value. It's a cornerstone of our economic system. But Trudeau's proposed hike could have some unintended consequences. You see, by increasing this tax, property owners might think twice before selling. This could make land assembly a critical step for large developments more difficult. Fewer sellers mean fewer opportunities for developers. And here's the kicker. With fewer opportunities for development, the cost of new housing could skyrocket. Homes, already a big-ticket item, could become even less affordable for the average Canadian. But the impacts of this tax hike don't stop at housing costs. There's more to this story, and we'll delve deeper in the next scene. The capital gains tax increase could have far-reaching effects beyond just housing prices. By discouraging investment in housing, the tax hike could reduce incentives for creating additional rental units or selling underused properties. Moreover, the allure of home ownership has been diminished by Trudeau's reduction of the capital gains tax exemption for primary residences. This particularly affects entrepreneurs who buy and upgrade homes for resale. These changes could have a significant impact on homeowners and potential investors alike. In light of these potential challenges, it's becoming more important than ever to have a financial safety net. A side hustle, especially one that can generate between $5,000 to $10,000 each month, can offer this security. Not only does it provide an additional income stream, but it also fosters entrepreneurial spirit and personal growth. The best part? It's surprisingly simple to start. For a step-by-step -step guide on how to start your own side hustle from the comfort of your home, Check out the free training link in the description.